Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Crafted by Kigi. Today I got an unboxing for you guys. This one I'm super excited about. I did have it for about a month or two. I just haven't opened it yet, but it's something my mom had got me. And today we are going to be unboxing a cocktail shaker set. Now this one I'm super excited about because when I was in school we did learn um, some bartending and we used all the tools and stuff. So I've been wanting to get my own set for quite some time now. So I'm going to get right into it. So yeah, this is the box. It's pretty long. It's about the length of my arm. It's a pretty big box. I believe it came with a, a bag that comes with it, but I did take it out. Just so it's easy for me to open on camera and everything. But yeah, so we're going to start unboxing. Oh, it's open. Okay. So the first piece, it's like this wooden whole thing to put the different items. Um, the brand, it says, I think it's Soing, I think is how you pronounce that. S-O-I-N-G. So yeah, this is the base where all the pieces go, which I really like. It's nice. This feels really sturdy as well. So that's that. Off the top of the box, it looks like it comes with some cocktail cards. So this is nice. Looks like it gives you some little recipes you could flip through. You can go through that at the end. Which is one thing I also love to do is I would like to try out different drinks. So when we had our bartending class in school, um, we didn't really to taste all the alcohols we'll mix together at least. They had us taste individually just to get the flavor of the alcohols. And then when we were practicing mixing the drinks, it was just with colored water from the gun and stuff. So we didn't really get to mix our own full on cocktails, but we definitely did get the basics. Ooh, now this box, you can hear it, it's pretty heavy. So it looks like this is empty now. So I'm gonna open this next box. And then I'm gonna replace them in here, so. Oh, okay, so here's the sack. I knew there was a sack. Okay. So first we have our strainer. So I'm not sure where this goes on here. Maybe it goes right here. Oh yeah, that looks like the proper spot. Yeah. I'm gonna turn it the other way. Oh, I'll turn this way. Okay. Next in the sack, we have a mixing stick. Where does this go? I believe it goes right here. It's like a little L shape. So you can, I'll flip the camera and show you, but it's like a little L indent and it pushes in. So I like how sturdy it is. It looks like it locks in pretty easy, which is cool. Let's see. What is next? The top to the shaker. The shaker also has a strainer on the inside. So that means this must come off also, maybe. I'll come back to that. Ooh, there's so much in here. Oh my god. Oh, okay. So that's the cup. Oh, look. It looks like they gave us two brushes for cleaning. I don't know where this goes on here. I'm just gonna stick it somewhere and figure it out in a moment. Um, we have a jigger. A jigger is your alcohol measure, so the bottom is going to be half of a shot, and the top is going to be a whole shot. Um, I believe it's an ounce, and then the bottom is half an ounce. No, a shot is two ounces. This is two ounces, so that the bottom is one ounce. So that's going to be half a shot, and the the big side is a full shot, I believe. It has a nice little spot, too. Oh, this is cool. Ah, that kind of scrapped me. Oh, okay, so it even comes with a little side cup. I like this because this comes with the drink nozzles, so you just pop them on the top of your bottles and you, you're good to start pouring. I really like that, I did not know that came with it. We got one, we got two, three, we have three pours, and then we have one stopper, or one cap, I guess, that blows up. Oh wait, two! We have two of them. Oh, it's a little loose. Let's screw that back together. Oh, then we have a wine opener. That's one thing I like doing in class when I was in culinary school. Um, we had to take like our front of the house classes when we had like our formal dining room and then we had to like learn how to serve in there. And so I thought it was interesting all the techniques and stuff that goes into serving wine. 
and one of them that I thought was a cool fact that stuck out to me is our teacher said when you open a bottle of wine you're not really supposed to hear that loud pop you're supposed to subtly open it it's gonna be like a really light sound so I always thought that was cool because I always thought it's supposed to make that pop no you're not trying to make it too loud it's just supposed to be a light little little sound but yeah we have a wine opener which I needed this I had one but I lost it I think I loaned it to somebody and just never got it back honestly um oh big cup goes right there um oh there's also little more like plastic tips it probably came off of these let's see Oop. i like that everything came with its own little plastic covering tip but these don't stay on as well because i just put it down and it fell off but i like the idea that it came with them i mean i could always use it as backups for these these nozzle things so i'll show you guys closer Little nozzle pores. Okay. Ah, I'm dropping stuff. There's also a spot for the mini cup, which is cool. Shaker could go right there. Oh, on the shaker cap, it also says the brand's name on there. Swing. You guys can see that. There you go. Yeah. I'm gonna drop these back into the cup for now. Oh, that was loud. Yikes. There we go. And then flip that. We still have more in the sack. I really like their logo. That's actually pretty nice. Oh, we have a muddler. Muddler is basically just so you can mash whether it's herbs or berries or anything like that. You just use it to mash up in the cup or if there's ice. Pretty nifty tool. Let's see, where does this go? I think it goes right here. Actually, maybe it does. Or maybe I'm messing up. I'm gonna have to see if there's a picture online of where everything is supposed to go in each spot. Because right now I'm kind of just guessing. I don't really know where everything goes. Oh, and we have some ice tongs, which is nice. That is very convenient. So I'm gonna reorganize this. So that's all the pieces of the song swing. I'm not to pronounce that. The song or sewing, not sure. Cocktail shaker set. Let's see. It says it's designed in Germany, crafted for the tier mixologist. Pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these away. Put these face down. Let's see. I don't know where to put these. Clean. Oop, I just dropped the muddler on my laptop. Okay, that definitely goes there. Cleaning brushes, I'm still not too sure where those go. I don't think I would necessarily have to keep it on the on the deck set. I'll probably just stick them in the cup. There is these four holes in the back. I'm gonna tilt it so you guys can see. So there's like four holes, or actually more than four, there's five holes in the back that maybe they're for these tips that maybe they just pop in there. Oh, it fits. So that is a resting spot for that. And if it's not, it is today. I really like this set. Like, I really can't wait to use this. Uh, my family, they're not really big drinkers, so we never really have liquor in our house. So I will have to run to the store and just get some different things to mess around with. I'll definitely try this out with my friends as well. Okay. So yeah, all those fit right there. We have shaker cup with the strainer top the cleaning brushes i really don't know where to put them the muddler hmm. I don't know the i'm pretty sure the muddler goes right here on the side it's like an angled slot but it's kind of a close fit if you put it face down oh wait there we go it's perfect okay and then I just love how it comes with this bag. So if you need to pack it up and be mobile, all these tools fit in the bag and then you carry the wood block by itself. Um, these cleaning sticks I'll probably keep in the bag since I don't really need them right now. But yeah, this is the set. I'm gonna flip the camera and show you guys as well. But first, I wanna go over the recipe cards that they gave us. 
that's one thing for the most part this thing seems pretty secure but it seems like if you tilt this thing the right way the muddler will fall forward um but that's no big deal unless it's supposed to face this way it looks better facing this way but yeah so that's the set right here and let's go these cocktail cards I do. That's one thing I'm glad I kept track of is that I have this list of like over a hundred mixed drink recipes and that's something we had to learn by heart um, when I took my mixology class in school and I just wish I remembered it more because I knew it at a time but since we don't practice it often like it's kind of hard to remember that so I definitely want to go back and practice and really get the knowledge back again because I remember the basic techniques and I remember ice downpour and the different variations of drinks and how to mix them I just don't remember the recipes but um let's see in these cards we have a margarita recipe Let's see, margarita is usually tequila, triple sec, and then we have lime juice. I like these cards. It also tells you um, the garnish that goes with it. You guys could see that. Um, it also tells you what type of glass, what type of rim if it needs one. And it also tells you the method of preparation. So this one for a margarita, it, it just says combine in a shaker, shake well and strain and serve on the rocks. So technically that would be like an ice down pour. You can just pour it all in the glass or just shake it strain like it said. Um, strawberry daiquiri, we have a mojito. Mojitos are very good. That's usually, you would actually use the muddler for that. Once again, let's see, this is the muddler. So you would use this to kind of break up the, the mint and the mint, it will release its, its flavors. So that's why you use the muddlers to help release the flavor. Right here it says muddle mint leaves, sugar, and lime juice. So you would do all those three in the little mini cup right here. Muddle it in there. So yeah, this is really cool. Next we have an old fashioned. So like all these drinks are just the basics from what I'm seeing. And these are drinks that I did have in my recipe list. I'll see if I can include it in the video because that was a nice list. It was pretty helpful. A whiskey sour, a Moscow mule. I recently had that. That's actually pretty good. That has vodka, ginger beer, and lime juice. Pretty good. I also like the presentation of these cards. I think this is a very unique idea. And I'm glad they gave us a little recipe booklet. We have a Bloody Mary, Pina Colada, Negroni. We have a Cactus Sour, that is a new one. Now, I have had cactus liqueur before. I think I went to Bahama Breeze and I had got like a slushy kind of drink. And it came with a cactus liqueur shot, which was pretty cool. It was very good. This one has aloe juice, lemon juice, agave syrup, and tequila blanco in that cactus sour. That sounds pretty delicious. A sidecar I've heard of. It's that one. We also have a maple bacon old fashioned. So that is one of their more unique drinks. I'm not sure how to feel about that, but that goes with bourbon. So I feel like it would probably work. Bourbon is usually like more on the rusticy side, usually kind of kind of woodsy. Blue Fizz, it's another, I guess, one of their special specialty drinks. Spicy lemon drop. Now, when I go out with my friends, I will say lemon drop is a pretty tasty drink to order it tastes just like lemonade so it's usually a simple one it has vodka lemon juice simple syrup and triple sec now triple sec is like this orangey flavored look liquor um but this one says spicy lemon drop so i guess they're using spicy vodka which is interesting i wonder if it's like a how you have rum and then there's spiced rum i wonder if that's that kind of concept applied to this as well it probably is then we have a cap, capirin, I don't know how to say that, wow. Capirinaha, capirinaha. I'm not sure how to say that. If you guys know what this is, feel free to put a phonetic saying in my comments so I can figure out what that is exactly. Then we have aviation, I've never heard of that one. We have a basil smash. This sounds like something you'd also use with the muddler. And then a lychee gimlet. So I've heard of a gimlet, but with lychee, that sounds like they're onto something. I think that sounds pretty good. 
so yeah that is the end of the little booklet they gave it just says cocktail cards once again i love the presentation of this it's very simple very easy seems like it's easy to follow includes measurements the glass the garnish the method of preparation so i think this set is pretty solid honestly especially like if you're a beginner i, I would say this is pretty user friendly i mean i know what these tools and stuff are I mean, they didn't include a list of the breakdown of what each tool is, but I already know. But as far as the recipe goes, I think this is pretty easy to follow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip that camera around so you guys can finally see the top view of it. And yeah. Okay, so this is the top view of the cocktail shaker set. Right here we have the stoppers for the drinks. Right here we have the pour spouts. Right there, and they come with little rubber covers. We have our small cup for like muddling items. We have our stir stick. We have our muddler here. We have our jigger here. We have our strainer. The ice tongs, which I think is pretty cool. It came with that. Our shaker. And then I just left the little extra rubber caps in the inside. So yeah, that is the set. Oh, also the wine opener. So I think this is a pretty cool set, honestly. It stays nice and organized. And yeah, right, so that concludes my unboxing of the cocktail shaker set. Um, I did have to go on Google and just verify how many ounces is in a shot, and it's actually 1.5 fluid ounces. So I was incorrect. I was close, but that was wrong. So in total, that means the top half is 1.5 ounces, and the bottom is half of that. So that is how a jigger works, and I look forward to using this with you guys. So stay tuned for my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And also, happy holidays.